So the second derivative test uh, is our third way of finding extreme values. We have the candidates test, which takes advantage of the extreme value theorem to find absolute and uh, absolute maximum and absolute minimum, but not any relative extrema. We have the first derivative test, which finds every relative extrema, no matter what, for any function, but requires a lot of work. The second derivative test will find relative extrema, and it's pretty quick, especially for things like polynomials, but the drawback is it doesn't always work. Um, it requires a function to be twice differentiable, meaning that the second derivative has to exist everywhere for the second derivative to, to work. Um, and there are functions that may be differentiable, meaning the first derivative always exists, but the second derivative may not always exist. So the way the second derivative test works is it takes advantage of concavity. So please note, this is not what we are doing to find concavity. It uses concavity. So please do not say a function is concave up because of the second derivative test. That's completely kind of gibberish because I have to, the second derivative test doesn't tell me if it's concave up. It says, hey, what if we already know it's concave up? That's what the second derivative test does. It uses concavity. It doesn't find concavity. So the idea of this is I have to have horizontal tangents. So please note, if the first derivative doesn't exist, second derivative, like at a corner, second derivative test won't catch it. So I have to have a horizontal tangent. Oops. Well, then if I have a horizontal tangent, and my function is concave up, I have a relative minimum. If I have a horizontal tangent and my function is concave down, funny face, I have a relative maximum. If my second derivative is zero at those points, I can't use second derivative test, have to use the first derivative test. So I will admit, I don't use the second derivative test often. I tend to use it just with polynomials because polynomials are twice differentiable, and this is pretty quick with polynomials. So an example of this is to find where the relative extreme are. So we're going to do the same problem we just did with first derivative test, but I'm going to do it with the second with concavity. So for this, I first need to know where does the first derivative equal zero. So my first derivative is 15x to the fourth minus 12x squared minus 3. I can pull a 3 out. I can factor this trinomial. And then I can factor the x squared minus 1. And so this is telling me 3 can never equal 0, so that has no impact. 5x squared plus 1 has no real numbers as zeros, so that has no impact. Uh, x plus 1 could equal 0, give me x equals negative 1. And x minus 1 could equal 0, give me x equals positive 1. So I have two places where f prime is equal to zero. So what I need then is the second derivative, which would be 60x cubed minus 24x. And I want to know, is my function concave up or concave down at these two points, or these two x values? So my second derivative of negative 1 is going to be negative 60 plus 24 which is less than zero, meaning that f is concave down at x equals negative one. So I have a horizontal tangent and frowny face. So there is a relative max at x equals negative one. If I plug the first, the positive one into the second derivative, I get 60 minus 24, which is greater than zero. So f is concave up at x equals positive one. So I have a horizontal tangent and concave up is a smiley face. So I have a relative min 
at x equals positive 1.